our Facebook. How are you? It's 3 p.m. and it's time for dinner with Nanny Bubby. So happy to have you joining us. We're making kale salad today and I'm going to show you how amazing this kale salad is. This kale was put into Nanny Bubby's garden in early October and I mean I'm going to just step back so you can just see how big and beautiful this basket is also to my Instagram audience over there and today we're going to make kale salad so I just mentioned over here on Instagram that I make this salad and it is everybody's favorite salad in the family my mom is on so hey mom how are you but this year around the fall birthdays and holidays that we were celebrating, I did not make it. I made Caesar salad or soups to go with everything because this is everybody's favorite and everybody asked for it, but if I make it too frequently, then it loses its specialness. So I'm pulling it out for Christmas Eve and I'm pulling it out especially because I want all of you to see how to make it. So hey, Tani, we're making kale salad and you're gonna be able to find this recipe. We're gonna do part one today and then part two of completing the recipe tomorrow. Um, but you're gonna be able to see the whole recipe today in the Gather with Nanny Bubby Facebook group and that way you can, if you, hey Kelly Marshall, that way if you want to make it tomorrow along with me as we finish it up with the salad dressing and everything else, you can get all the ingredients at your favorite local grocery store and all will be well. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna practice cutting it because it can be really fun, but it can be tricky if you don't know how to do it. So let me tip you on down here and help you to see this. Okay, there you go. How's that? So watch this. We're gonna take a paring knife like this and we are gonna take this rib. See that rib right there? And we're gonna cut that rib out. So you could tear it out, but if you do, the leaves of the kale get a little bit limp. See that? See how well that just sort of stays there like that? You can't see me over here on Instagram, so let me tilt you over here and push you back. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. I'll do three of these. Now, these limbs, if you want, you can save them, put them in the freezer in a Ziploc bag, and when you do that, when you get ready to make vegetable soup, these are great flavorings to throw in your vegetable soup. They, you know, break real easy. You can put them in a small Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer for later on. So let's continue on right here. Let's get this rib out of here. This is a little bit smaller, but you're gonna start up where it's a little bit thinner. So Tawny, give me a one if you got my email and you understood it because you or Andy did not answer me back. And so I got worried, like, did they get my email? I wondered if you did. So Tawny, if you're listening, give me a one if you got my email and all is good on that end. I love that I can talk to people like this. I think I once talked to my mom and told her something right here live on Facebook, which is kind of funny, isn't it? Um, okay, so we've got these three leaves of kale. Do you see that? Hey, making a home with Susie, how are you? So glad, oh, yep, okay, Tawny, great. And Allison Amstel-Tatius here. Hey, Allison, how are you? So nice to see you. So can you all see these three leaves that I've stacked on top of each other. And this is a little bit like exactly what I've taught you when it comes to cutting basil. We're gonna take this, and this is already washed. This um, kale has already been washed. It needed to be washed even though it's in my own home garden because I had tile installed for the last two months and um, it had tile dust all over it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this kale in very small little pieces. So give me a smiley face or a one or a five or a three or a two, anything that's easy for you to hit. And tell me if you can see this well and you can see how these tiny little pieces are being cut. So there's three branches of kale that are being cut all at the one time. And the really great news about this kale and the fact that we're cutting it in these tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces and then we're gonna go back and cut it again, just giving it another little chop, is that when it goes into the salad, kale can be very, very tough. You know, you've heard massage the kale um, be you know, before you eat it. Well, you do not have to massage kale when you cut it in this small, little bite-sized chiffonades. 
Um, and it's very easy to dress. You dress it about 10 to 15 minutes before you serve it, and it becomes nice and tender and grand. So can you all see that? There you go. There you go. Can you see this over here? Let me just tilt you a little bit over here on Instagram. There you go. So you can see that it's very, very small. Hey there, Lisa. So nice to have you joining me. That's great. We're making kale salad. So I even have to say that my dear friend over here, Lisa, who just joined us on Instagram, when I first made this kale salad and she came, she said, oh no, I don't like kale salad. And she was not even gonna try it, which is okay, that's her prerogative. But then she snuck some, not really snuck, but she went ahead and tried it, I think just to make me happy. And she could not believe. So there we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it up, right? Right, Lisa? So give us a thumbs up if you remember that. And you love it now, right? So happy, so here we go. Here's the kale salad, all cut up, and we're gonna start again. Into the Ziploc bag it goes. Okay, here we go. Take the rib out. Because honestly, kale is a very bitter vegetable, and you really have to be careful about how you treat it, because you really, if it's too tough and the flavor is too strong, and especially since we're eating it raw, you're just kind of hesitant to do it. I know I was the first time I had it. And the orig original recipe that I got, I got from um, Wynn Steakhouse here in Las Vegas. I had it there and I loved it so much, I came home and tried to recreate the recipe. And the truth is, is that there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that when I was done creating that recipe, this recipe, that my salad actually is better than what they serve at SW Steakhouse at Wynn Las Vegas. Don't tell them that though. <laughs> but I can promise you it really is better. Okay, so we're gonna take this and layer it one more time. So uh, if you're just joining us, I wanted to tell you that all of this kale was picked right out of Nanny Bubby's garden. And I'm so proud of that. This kale went in in early October. It was not a seed, it was a transplant. Hey Sue, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, it was a transplant and um, it was just a little tiny small plant and all of this amazing kale in abundance came right out of that garden. And come January, I am going to literally sit down with all of you and show you how to seed start um, so that you too you can, when I started my garden, sorry, somebody was calling me, um, you know, it, it, your, your Instagram, let me see, there you go, you're back, okay. Uh, Mr. Lee916 joined, hey there, Mr. Lee, um, nice to have you here, we're making kale salad, and today I'm just showing you how to chop it, there you go, this is the second chop. In the chiffonade, we're gonna take it once again. Hey, Valerie Simon, I love that you're watching. And Joe Ingram, Joe Ingram is watching from England. Don't you love that? I love that Joe has joined us from England, which there must be one in the morning. I, I don't understand how she's watching. It's 10 hours later there, so it's three, um, gosh, I don't know, but it's late. Joe, how late is it there? How late is it in England? Let us all know. And I will tell all of our friends over here on Instagram how late it is in England that we have somebody watching. So here's the kale salad. So now I've given you a good idea of how to cut it. It's chopped in little pieces into the Ziploc bag again. And I'm gonna cut all of this up, this entire, hey, Courtney Perna, wowzers. So nice to see you. Courtney and I used to do Channel 8 together couple years ago and we had so much fun. We were each other's favorites. I know we were, right Courtney? Give me a one if I was always your favorite guest. I know I was, I absolutely know I was. Okay, so Joe, what time is it there? I've gotta ask one more time, what time? Okay, so this is the thing. We are going to, I'm gonna finish this and there's no reason to keep all of you here um, unless you wanna just talk to me and ask questions, which is perfectly fine. Hey Roger, how are you? Wow, we've got so many people coming in today. It's great, it's for the holidays. We are making kale salad, which Courtney Perna actually helped me and assisted me making on Channel 8 here live. It was so much fun, but it was delicious. I know she thought it was, yep, totally her fave, she said. 
So I don't wanna just keep you here while I chop and cut, but if you have any quick questions, I'm just gonna repeat really quickly the process here. We're gonna, I'm gonna take this, finish chopping it all up as soon as I'm done, after I've said goodbye to all of you and tell you how much I love you and I do. I'm going to then go and post the recipe in the Gather with Nanny Bubby Facebook group. And so if you wanna go over there, get the recipe, go out and buy the ingredients. Then tomorrow in phase two, I'm gonna show you how to make the dressing. I'm gonna show you how to candy the pecans. I'm gonna show you a couple of really easy tricks that make everything so delicious and so easy. And I look forward to it. So is everybody good? Anybody got any questions? Hit me with a one if you've got a question and I'll stand by and stand in. Anybody? Anybody got a question? Give me a one if you've got a question. Anybody? Anybody? Going, 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 gone. All right, everybody, all of us together on the count of three, go out and say it with me. Spread love like butter. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow so we can finish up the kale salad. Bye.